Hi, this is John and welcome to another edition of Statistics Tell a Story. Well, we just w witnessed a pretty good Super Bowl five days ago where KC won in overtime. They beat San Francisco with a thrilling finish and of course Kyle Shanahan was kind of grilled for his decision making with the coin toss in overtime. There was a writer, his name Christopher Hitchens, he passed away maybe 15 years ago. He had a quote that said, public opinion is often wrong, mob mentality is almost always wrong. And I tend to think of that quote when I see the masses just coming out almost universally, taking one side, and if you, if you do some kind of analysis, you see, well, not that they were necessarily wrong, but they may not have been clearly right. Um, so this all kind of started, it was about 15 years ago, you may remember the game, Bill Belichick's Patriots against Peyton Manning's Colts, and there was a situation where Bill Belichick went for it on fourth and one from his own 30, he failed, and the Colts had a short field and they ended up beating the Patriots. Belichick was kind of kind of crucified for his decision. They kept saying, you can't give Manning a short field. Well, the numbers bore out that Belichick was right by a mile. Um, the fact is, you can't give Manning a field. But anyway, we can save that for another discussion. Some of you might remember it. I know some of you do not maybe put a lot of stock into analytics, but these numbers basically reflect pretty close to reality. So we also saw Dan Campbell get grilled in the championship game, which was unfair. It was actually something I was going to do a discussion on and uh, was not able to. But Campbell, it was very close as far as his decision making goes. But again, you know, he went for it on a couple fourth downs. They failed. And of course, you know, you're going against the status quo. So everybody seems to chime in and say, it must not be correct. All right. So you're in overtime, right? You're Kyle Shanahan and you're deciding on what to do, whether to, to kick off or receive. We're going to make some assumptions, okay? And by the way, I, 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 I make my assumptions before I find my final results so that I don't bias numbers. And you may disagree with these assumptions. I think they're reasonably close. Um, first of all, in the regular season, teams score touchdowns about 20% of the time and they score field goals about 20% of the time, give or take. So, so we have overtime, defenses are tired, okay? Offenses are tired, but since offenses know where they're going with the ball, it probably gives an advantage to the offense. Uh, further, I think Frisco and KC collectively have better offenses than defenses. So between those things, I think it's reasonable to assume that with each possession, each team has about a 25% chance at a touchdown and a 25% chance at a field goal. And they're both pretty evenly balanced, so to give them both that percentage, I think is pretty reasonable. I'll get into a nuance in a second though. Okay, so now of course the big issue, the big debate was that he, uh, Shanahan took the kickoff, uh, you know, they elected to receive, thus giving Kansas City the second choice. Some people were thinking of it as the last choice, which isn't correct, which we'll get into in a second here. So, but anyway, all right. So with those assumptions, here's what I'm going to do. Frisco on their first drive has a 25% chance at a TD and a 25% chance at a field goal. Of course, a 50% chance at a no score. KC, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost KC a little bit here because of the fact that they did have an advantage going second, for sure. So that criticism was partially justified, but only if you knew that there were going to be two and only two possessions, which we didn't know. So if Frisco scores a TD, KC now knowing they have to get a TD, probably has better than a 25% chance of getting a touchdown, all other things being equal, because of the fact that they're going for it on fourth down. Okay. How much does it change it? I'm not sure. Now, they're going for a touchdown. There's no field goals. They're going for it on fourth down. I made KC having a 35% chance at a touchdown 
instead of the 25 earlier, and I set a 65% chance at a no score. If Frisco gets a field goal, KC also knows they cannot punt on fourth down. Um, I also increase their chance of getting a touchdown. And again, if they're going forward on fourth down, even if it's fourth down, fourth and three from the 50, not only does that give them a chance to keep the ball and hence a field goal, but it increases, or it should, their chance of getting a touchdown, which was 25% originally. So we're going to make that 30% touchdown, 35% field goal, uh, which um, I, I just upped the field goal also, and I said 35% chance of a no score. If Frisco has a no score, okay, see, I kept it the same, 25% touchdown, 25% field goal as the original assumption. Okay, here are the scenarios. I'm going to go through these fairly quickly um, because you can always look at the numbers later, but it's just multiplying, right? So a Frisco TD followed by a KC non-TD with these assumptions, 0.25 times 0.65 is 0.1625. Okay, we get the numbers in a similar fashion. We can have a Frisco TD followed by a KC TD. We can have a Frisco field goal followed by a KC TD. Frisco field goal followed by a KC field goal. Frisco field goal followed by a KC no score. We could also have a Frisco no score followed by any KC score, field goal or touchdown, uh, which I gave 50%. I just added 25 and 25. And a Frisco no score followed by a KC no score. Notice there's 25% here. Okay, now, how many times are we going to have a third possession? We're going to have a third possession when they both get a TD, when they both get a field goal, or when neither score. If you add that up, that is actually 42.5% of the time. Of the times there are a score, KC does have an advantage. Okay? And here are the numbers. So, again, two of the scenarios, Frisco wins 25% of the time. KC wins 32.5% of the time. That's when there is a score, um, and there's a winner after two possessions. So KC does have an advantage, and it's short. it played out then, right? So Shanahan looks, well, you know, not very smart. This is 57.5% of the time. That Remember I said 42.5% of the time, which is the remainder of this, is it's going to go to a third possession. This is a lot. This is a huge advantage to Frisco because now the next score wins. So how might Frisco win? They can win on their first possession, meaning the third possession. So counting the third possession is the first possession going forward. They can win with any score. I gave it 50%. Now everything is 0.5. A Frisco non-score followed by a KC score. 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.25. Frisco non-score, KC non-score. Frisco score. This would actually be the fifth total possession. Okay? And it follows this. Now, this kind of gets to an interesting little mathematical geometric series, as we might call it, if any of you have taken uh, recall from calculus. The summation of this is 1, okay, which means, so if we add up these percentages, right, and so forth, we would get 1. Frisco has 0 0.5, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625, and so forth. They end up getting 2 thirds, which we can show mathematically, but I'll skip that for now, 2 thirds of this 1. Now, what does that really mean? In other words, of the 42.5% of the time, it goes to a third possession or later. Frisco wins two-thirds of those. So how does that all add up? Well, Frisco wins two-thirds of the 42.75%, which is 28.33%, KC wins one-third of the 42.5%, which is 14.17%. Let's put it all together. We originally said Frisco wins 25% of the time in one of the first two possessions, 28.33 after that, giving 53.33%. KC wins 32.5% of the time, which we mentioned earlier, only 14.17% from the third possession on, 46.67%. All other things being equal, you can dispute some of these numbers. Now, I don't know if this is what went through Kyle Shanahan's head, but 
he made the right decision. So again, the mob mentality, at least from what I'm reading in the papers on the internet, looks like it's wrong. All righty. If you disagree, please let me know. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. Tell your friends. Football season's over. I'm still going to try to make uh, periodic uh, videos, maybe once every week or so. But anyway, we'll see you next time on Statistics Dollar Story. Thank you.